Tackle Team Trials. Van Stokes along with Jim Gibbons. We're in 84 kilo category. It's Greco-Roman now in the red singlet, Jake Clark of the United States Marine Corps and his opponent, national champion in the blue singlet, Brad Varing. And this one shapes up as a tough one between two hard-nosed competitors. Well, you're wrestling Greco. You're a hard-nosed competitor anyway, but uh, these two guys went at it in a special way and, and, and probably a little bit different than what we've seen before. They're really getting after it right in the beginning. A lot of fierce hand fighting. Well, Brad Varing won their first bout earlier in this World Team Trials but it took him three periods to do so. And I fully anticipate a lot of pummeling and then the points perhaps to come off of the parterre clinch once again. One minute on their feet in Greco and then two 30-second parterre clinch segments in each period. So we're scoreless here. 20 seconds remaining in this first minute. And it's not only what's going down you know, in the upper upper bodies here in the Greco, but you got to look also focus on the footwork a little bit. These men come at you with really extreme staggered stances. They're in, in attack mode, and you know, they want to come at you and get if they get an advantage, they're going to be driving and moving into you and trying to throw. Well, we come to that one minute mark, and there will be a coin toss. Brad Varing of the New York Athletic Club. He's really been on top of the ladder in the United States for three straight years. The former NCAA champion from Nebraska seemed to adjust your Greco roaming. Nicely. Well, that, that, that's he spent a lot of time in off season, in college, and, and of course before he became came to college here working at the uh, at the junior national level. There's Jay Antonelli on the sidelines. He's our world team coach in Greco Roman, also a longtime United States Marine Corps coach. He watches as his protege, Jay Clark, is in the bottom position. Brad Baring in the top. Comes around from behind now. He's going to try the lift and throw. He's got 30 seconds to score. Or he'll lose a point. Looks like he almost had it there, but could, couldn't get, quite get it loaded up. Jake Clark fighting off nicely in the down position. And There's the it. roll. He got it. He got it with one second left to go. Picks up the two points. Anatoly Petrosian likes it a lot. How about that? You mentioned Brad Beering in the, uh, the, the college program, but I think it takes a special. Here's the commitment. Here's the uh, commitment that uh, Beering made on the throw. Just all of a sudden steps over, goes up, pops through, gets the two points. Well executed, gut wrench. He had a nice tight lock, nice hip thrust, rolled through it in good shape. Now it's Jake Clark's turn. He's got 30 seconds in which to do something. He trails in this match, in this period, two to nothing. New open. Jake Clark, United States Marine Corps, stationed in Okinawa. Serving his country over there, able to come back and participate in this World Team Trials. Varying in the bottom, blue singlet. And time runs out, Clark unable to do anything. And the winner of the first period is Brad Varing. You know, we mentioned that, you know, these Greco athletes, they should show a, a, a different level of a commitment here to, uh, you know, to be able to compete almost immediately out of college because, you know, not a lot of the college programs here really have, you know, real solid Greco instruction. I mean, that's not really what their forte is. So, I mean, they're out there, they have to seek it outside their campus environment to be able to succeed in it's most a, instances. It's really a big challenge. You're right. You're not going to get it in scholastically. You're not going to get it intercollegiately. You have to step aside. The United States Olympic Education uh, folks up at Northern Michigan do a good job in combining the academic side and Greco-Roman training. Plus, we've got the residence camp in Colorado Springs. So there are opportunities, but they don't come down through the university lines. They usually come off campus, have to go off campus to get them. Well, we're into the second period here. And once again, a lot of pummeling, as you would expect in the first period with both wrestlers on their feet. Brad Beering having won the first period by the score of two to nothing. Looks like it'll come down to a coin toss. Maybe not. Clark really going hard with that underhook, but Beering was able to you know, desperately circle back into the center. And so Brad Beering holds on, did not get turned, perhaps a little too little too late for Clark. If he had stepped it up, perhaps he would have been able to pick up a point on that. But Varing fought it off nicely, so they go to the coin toss. And it's going to be, once again, 
Veering's opportunity for the Partier clinch first. These guys are really working hard too. You can tell by their breathing level and you know, so much of this sport is also anaerobic here. What you, you bring to the party, you just can't, you're working so hard that your, your, your respiratory system can't make up for you know, how hard you're working. And so it's all that stored energy in the muscles that, that, that does it for you. You know, we're looking at almost a changing of the guard, if you will. Brad Vering is one of the leaders on this United States Greco-Roman national team. He's unable to do anything right now with Jake Clark. But Vering has demonstrated, there's a turn. A little Does too he get late. It? No, a little too late. He did not get it. And so, Brad Vering actually loses the point. Jake Clark picks up one, but now it's Jake Clark's turn on the parterre clinch. Now, here's the interesting thing on this, Jim. If Clark cannot do anything, Vering would pick up the point. And by virtue of having won the last point, would win this. Win the, win the criteria. Win the criteria. And win the period and win the bout and a spot on the USA team. And Clark didn't look entirely comfortable in that top position there, so he jumps right back up to his feet. He wants to go upper body. Try to throw up top. Not much time left. Nearing holding position. Now a big headlock attempt, but uh, no points. Both athletes walk out of that. And there you see the clock kick tick down, and uh, Deering's going to be the winner. Last-ditch effort by Jake Clark came up a little bit short. Brad Veering fought it off, and he picks up the win and the shot to go on and represent the United States at the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. The leader of the USA national team moves on and picks up another world platform. Yeah, now, now that's just one of the uh, tough little nuances about the rule changes here, and you mentioned it before going into this, if he was able to hold position and, and not get turned, that uh, he would end up picking up the point as a result of criteria. So that was a coin flip. So there's a good look at our 84 kilogram champion moving on to the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. He's standing by ready for a word with our man Matt Side, Joe Miller. Non-Olympic year, a lot of guys from the 2004 Greco team have decided to retire. You kept going, what, what uh, keeps driving you here to compete? Well, obviously youth right now, but um, you know, I, I've definitely got some burning in my belly right now after Athens last year. And, and uh, I want to go in and uh, you know work on winning three world world medals, you know, in the next couple of years, and get into Beijing and and bringing home a medal from uh, from China. Had success at the world's couple of fifth place finishes. Is that uh, fueling the fire for uh, this fall? Yeah, it fuels the fire. It gives me confidence. You know, I know I've I've beat some world champions this last year, and uh, I'm real excited about uh, getting over to Europe and and fighting again. You know, it's it's. Uh, it's time now, you know, you put in all the work and, and you've got the confidence, it's time to bring home a medal. So we'll be back with more action from the 2005 World Team Trials here on the campus of Iowa State University.